Well guys, I've been hammering out the shop work this week, uh, working on 1066 Hydro and a 4020 standard and need to put a little case kits here in the shop. But uh, I, it's been a bit since I've done a what's for sale video and we've got some stuff in inventory still. So we'll walk through all that stuff and uh, you know, if you see something you're interested in, uh, drop a comment or send me an email or get a hold of me on one of my social media platforms that are in the description. Um, if you know somebody else looking for something, let them know too. But uh, we're gonna walk through this stuff and uh, go from there. Here we got a, I think it's a 63 or 64 706 gas row crop. Um, know this tractor really well, been a local tractor for a long time. My dad actually hauled it home from an auction sometime in the 70s or early 80s for the local service station owner for his yard tractor. Um, I've already sold this tractor once to my father-in-law and uh, he decided he'd rather have a diesel tractor so we got him an 856 diesel custom which you guys have seen before but uh, this one's for sale um, I can't remember if the hour meter on it works or anything like that uh, 16 9 34 rear rubber it is uh, two remotes it's an early 706 so it's got the cast PTO lever and the short cast hydraulic levers dual pto pretty good rear tires front tires are pretty good nice set of fenders on it um need to put a battery on it but it does run and drive um I'm trying to think what else on this one it did have a loader on it at one point in time in its life but it really didn't do much loader work to my knowledge um he was just using it more for grading his drives there if it snowed to be honest um, but yeah, it, it's a pretty early serial number 706. I think it's a 63. Shows 55, 75, and I can't remember if that works or not. But uh, pretty straight, honest tractor. I um, believe it actually came out of the Agra, Kansas area and knew uh, we got $5,500 on this one. Massey uh, 180 diesel here. It actually came off the same farm as my 300 combine. Uh, that we did the whole resurrection revival and harvest series with um, pretty good running tractor um, one front tires new ones kind of old back tires are cracking but holding air um, runs starts pretty good um, you know it's a little perkin so it, they needed a snort generally to start um, three point works two remote he's got like 9,000 hours on it pretty solid tractor a great rake tractor to be honest they're just good little tractors i've been around a couple 180s in my lifetime and i really love them but uh yeah pretty solid girl i think i've got five thousand on this one so yeah 9300 hours but yeah cool tractor five thousand this is a massey 85 gas i um, really don't know a ton about this tractor it came out of south dakota um kind of was just a good deal and i got it here it's kind of a story power steering needs work everything else seems to work pretty good it starts up really easy um three point pto remotes um there's not a lot to say on this one uh, price on it is uh 1750 make you a good little yard tractor if you can figure out the power, power steering and I think it's just a weak pump, to be honest, because it's got fluid in it and everything. It's just not, not doing much. This one's a Massey 88 gas with a Massey loader on it. Starts up nice, runs really good in my opinion. Um, bucket is a little bent up, but the loader frame doesn't seem to be bent at all. I actually have another bucket for it that I could take off a different loader if need be. Um, we got the big standard round fenders on it, but it, it does have three point on the back, which is odd for it being a standard. And uh, got two remotes here on the back as well. PTO, PTO is currently driving the loader pump. 18430 rubber tires, I think have calcium in them. And they're starting to rust some, but it's just nature of the beast. Pretty good little tractor. Um, I'd like to get, I think I got 3250 on this one. We're negotiable as always but we'll move down the line to this uh super w6 you guys have seen this one before 
Um, starts up really good, runs good, otter dozer on it, can sell with or without the dozer. Um, I'd let it go for $1,750, just the tractor, or uh, $2,000 with the dozer. Pretty cool little tractor. You don't see a lot of Super W6s around, in my opinion. And uh, it's got a really nice patina look to it. I think it'd clean up really good if a guy wanted to. But that's this one. Tires are older 45s, but holding air, I haven't touched them at all. But pretty pretty slick old girl. But if you don't need the otter dozer, we can sure take that off pretty quick. And I got this uh, bush hog loader that came off the 4020 standard. Um, really pretty tight loader. The brackets come with it. Somebody modified the original brackets to fit a 4020, but did a pretty good job. It came on and off really easy. Loaders pretty nice and tight. Buckets pretty darn straight. I got 2000 on the loader. This is a pretty rare little tractor that dad came in with. It's an Oliver 660 diesel vegetable special. So it's wide, narrow, narrow front and diesel. Just a lot of interesting combinations. It's a little rough, kind of got an old man paint job on it, but it does start up and run. Um, really little hard, hard tractor to find. You don't see very six, many 660s to begin with. And you see one that's set up like this and pretty different. Four cylinder diesel. Um, tires on the back are pretty good. Not a lot to say here. I think it needs power steering work as well, if I remember correctly. Haven't really spent a lot of time on this little girl, but uh, we'd like to get three grand out of it because it's a pretty rare little thing. This one's a Fordson Super Dexta. I think, or Ford 2000. I think they're actually the same thing. Three-cylinder Perkins diesel. We bought it west of here. Um, needs a starter, if I remember correctly. Um, it's kind of a cool little tractor. Got one really good rear tire and one meh rear tire. But uh, we'd like to get 1,800 out of this. You guys have seen these two before. Uh, both are H's. This one's a later H, if I remember correctly, and that one's an early H. Um, this one, the motor is loose on, or the motor's loose on this one. I've actually had this one pop off on ether for me. So this one's got a pretty good chance of running, but I just don't have time to get to it. Um, I'd like to get 500 out of this one. Pretty nice straight tractor, original paint. To my knowledge, tires are older, but holding air. What you see is what you get on this one. The other one is a little bit different story. For more investigation, this one has an M&W 9-speed on it, which is this cable here. So give, it split or adds an overdrive to gears 1 through 4, basically, for better, more road gears to use or more field speeds to use. Uh, motor's loose on it. Um, haven't got it started yet, but it's all here. Tires are all holding air. They're all pretty good not a big fan of the paint job on it but still cool little rig would sure like to get 750 out of this one just because of the nine speed makes a difference well we're down to the last few things i want to talk about that are for sale we'll come back to this one in a minute but that's for sale um first is this uh 1066 hydro um, good, really, really good running tractor. Hydro is tight, fires right up great cold. Or hydro is strong, fires right up good when it's cold. Um, doesn't act weak at all. Um, the center section here reads hydro 100. Now, what that tells me is, I believe at some point in time in this tractor's life, um, the, probably the original hydro unit went bad and they put in a reman unit. And when they did that, they just took a reman unit they had on the shelf somewhere that was Hydro 100 and put it on the tractor. Um, back then, serial numbers didn't matter matter so much to guys. I still truly think this is a Hydro 100, especially where it says Hydro right there on the hood. Um, but it's an Iowa origin tractor. It came from the dealer in West Bend, Iowa. Um it did have a diamond cab on it. I took the diamond cab off. I put the right 66 series fenders on it. Um, steering's a little loose. 10 16 fronts, 18 438 rears. 
three point is category three, which leads me to believe it is also a true 1066 Hydro. Uh, Hydro 100 was category two three point. So think about that for a minute. It was a one remote tractor. I made it so it's a two remote tractor. Try to make that a little better. Um, it's got sway block, the aftermarket sway blocks on it. Doesn't really add much value. Um, it's been completely serviced, all new filters, all new fluids, new batteries, got a sweet straight pipe on it. It sounds really good. Um, it's a pretty solid old 1066. I'll fire it up. 1066 Hydro, I guess. I'll crawl up here and fire it up so we can listen to it. My up really nice. That turbo line is really nice too. But You don't see a lot of 1066 Hydros out there to buy. They only made them for two years before they became the Hydro 100. The Hydro 100 didn't have a turbo on it. So not quite as cool without the turbo, but it's pretty solid rig. I got 12.5 on this one, 12,500 if you're interested in it. You can get a hold of me. Like I said, social media, email me, whatever. I'll pull up here and shut this one off. Um, this other tractor is a, I think it's a 73, 1066 uh, gear drive of Canadian origin. We've, you guys have seen this one before. It does not have a three point on the back. It does have dual PTO, brand new 18438 rear rubber. Dual remote, it's got the left-handed PTO lever, brand new fenders on it. Um, good running tractor, duals, hubs. It's all pretty fresh on the, its service too. I think it was done back in July, but it doesn't have more than like 15 hours on that service. So this one has 1116 front tires, really fun tractor, sounds really healthy. Buddy pulled a disc with it some and loved it. Just decided he'd rather have 4020 standard with an M and there would be a turbo. And who can argue with that? This one had the hour meter reads 826. Um, I don't know if that's 10,826. I don't know if that's 826 hours on an engine overhaul. I don't know what it means. So just added information. This one has 7,900 hours. Solid tractor. Um, I got 15 grand on it with the duels and hubs. If you want it without the duels and hubs, uh, 12.5. So, good tractor. So you can have your choice of 1066s for 12.5. And I could swap straight pipes and mufflers around and swap front tires around too if somebody needed to. Hell, I'd even swap all the tires and wheels around between those two if somebody really wanted to. But the last piece we're gonna talk about today that's for sale is my personal 1993 uh, Dodge Ram power ram 350 it does have a cummins diesel it's five speed um i think the odometer reads 180,000. that doesn't work it's probably somewhere near 250,000. really solid farm feeding pickup is what it is um high miles i get that still cummins diesel five speed that's updated to the nv4500 it is not the original getrag they cut the whole and put the NV4500 in it. Pretty common. This is actually the second first gen I've had with an NV4500 in it. Extended cab with the skinny person seats. Blue interior. Headliners. Kind of shot. Typical first gen Dodge peeling clear coat and paint. Um, not, I mean, it's been a feeding pickup. It's got a hydro bed on it. Hydro bed was put on in 2002. There's receipts in the glove box for that hydro bed which is really cool. Um, bodies, pretty typical of a first gen, little beat up because it's a feed truck. Body panels are somewhat loose just from years. 
of use. The tires are pretty good all the way around. I put toolboxes underneath when I got the pickup because it didn't have any on it. And I put these little bed rails on too because those were missing because I had a cake box on it when I got it. And then I also put a two inch receiver hitch on the back of it when it got in my possession. Um, pretty good truck. Really love it. Just, I have that really nice square body gas and usually a gas pickup's enough for a feed pickup around here. And I don't, you know, the square body is more fun to drive. I know, I know, first gens are cool, but I'd rather drive that square body most days. And I've got my 81 Dodge too that I love to run around in. This is, I'm sure I'll have another first gen diesel, but this one's going to go. It's a really cool truck. It's been a Western Kansas truck all its life. Sold new at Lop Motors in uh, Dodge City. Starts up great. Just a pretty solid old first gen. I mean, nothing special. It makes common noises. It leaks a little oil. That's expected. The bail bed is really, really tight. It's an engine driven pump for the bail bed. Um, I've serviced it recently. I've used it some recently. The price on this is $17.5. Yes, I know that seems like a lot for a 200 and some odd thousand mile first gen, but price one of these beds for me, and yeah, you'll you'll understand. But a really good truck. It is not fast. It does have a Denny T's fuel pin in it. That is the only mod to this pickup. It will lay a lot of black smoke. That's the only thing I've changed on this pickup. It is bone stock. And the only reason it's got a Denny T's fuel pin is it because I robbed the one out of my last first gen before I sold it. So, but it's a 1993, it's the good year of these, it's the last year of these, 17.5, and that's what it is. If you're interested, social medias, or get a hold of me through my email, which is in the description. I can help arrange shipping for all this stuff. Let me know. So that's, that's pretty much it for what's for sale around the lot. There's other stuff. There's lots of other small stuff, obviously plenty of salvage tractors if you need parts for IH salvage tractors um, if you're interested in any of this stuff email me shoot me a message on Instagram Facebook Twitter I'll get back to you um, thanks for tuning in go drag something out of the weeds and get it running